What's up guys, Dan Frulani here and welcome back to a new video. There is something new today. What is it? It's some updates, or well, actually some firmer updates. Why well, am I talking plural? Because we have some firmer update for the Canon R6 and the Canon R7. But in this video, I'm gonna cover the firmer update of the Canon R6. But first of all, what do we get with this firmer update? Firmware version 1.8.0 incorporates the following fixes and enhancement. Number one, adds the ability for images to be cropped and resized during transfer to the FTP server. Number two, fixes minor issues. Firmware version 1.8.0 is for cameras with firmware up to version 1.7.0. If the camera's firmware is already version 1.8.0, it is not necessary to update the firmware. Of course not. If you haven't installed the previous updates, it doesn't matter because you will get all the benefits from all the firmware updates with the latest. In this case, the version 1.8. So first things first, what do we need? We need of course our camera, the Canon R6 in this case. A fresh battery, fully charged, an SD card and an SD card reader. And of course, a computer. First thing we should do, we should format the SD card. So we put it in one of the two slots of the Canon R6. We open the menu, we go to the menu with the symbol of a wrench, and here, format card. And we select this little square here. So the process will be done really thoroughly. Then turn off the camera, we take out the SD card and we put it in the SD card reader connected to your computer. Then we open our browser, it can be Chrome, Firefox, whatever. And we go to the Canon official website through this link. We type the name of our camera, in this case, Canon R6. Downloads here, software and stuff. And in case we're using a Mac, for example, we have to select its operative system. And that's when we see all the available updates. Here, we scroll it down until we find the version 1.8, which is the latest. And if we're using Windows, just accept the terms and conditions and click, and then we download it. Double click to extract the files in it and we have one folder containing the instructions in all possible languages, I mean file languages, and we have a file with the extension .fir, that's the one we need. Right click on it to copy it, go to our SD card here, right click and paste it there. I'm not going to do it because I have a Mac and I'm going to show you how to do it for Mac. Basically, it's kind of the same thing. So you accept the terms and conditions, click to download. Then you can find it both at the bottom of the page as a download or in your downloads, whatever place you downloaded it. Anyway, you click on it and it will open and install a disk image. That will do everything for you. You open it and bam you find the same things that you found if you were using Windows, a folder and a file. You find the instructions in multiple languages in the folder and separately the file with the extension .fir. You want to click on that file and drag it to wherever you put your SD card reader to copy it there in the SD card and we're done. Okay, bye. No, not yet. Now you have to install it in your camera. What you have to do is make sure there's nothing attached to your camera. No lens, no adapter, no microphone, nothing. And also make sure you're using a fresh battery, fully charged, because if something happens during the process and the camera turns off, there might be serious consequences. So make sure you're using a full battery and you're good to go. Also, make sure the upper wheel of the camera is set to P, priority. And 
here, that's when I received comments like, I've never done it and it works perfectly. Yeah, then do it. But if something happens to your camera, it won't be my responsibility. If Canon wrote it in the instructions that your camera should be set to P, priority, I'm sure there's a very good reason for it. So you'd better listen. If not, just whatever. Then put your SD card in one or two slots of the Canon R6, turn on the camera, open the menu, go to the wrench, go to the firmware, and you see the firmware currently installed, which should be the 1.7, right? Right. I told you, if you have a previous one, 1.6 or something else, it doesn't matter because you're gonna get all the benefits of all the previous firmware updates through this one, as usual. So, when you click on it, and the camera will prompt you if you want to upgrade. Okay, of course, that's what we're doing. And the camera will find the, the update in the SD card. At this point, the touch screen won't work. Don't panic, that's totally normal. What you have to do is use the, the wheel to accept and click OK, and the firmware will be installed in your camera, and the process will start. At this point, don't touch any button. Don't even think of turning the camera off. Don't breathe. No, you can breathe, of course, but I mean, don't touch the camera, no matter what, until the process finishes, okay? So when it's done, you will get a message, update is complete. You will see the previous firmware 1.7.0 and the new one 1.8.0. Touch screen is not working yet, so again you have to press the button in the middle of the wheel to confirm and the camera will restart. Now we should turn the camera off and then back on, we go to check to the menu with the wrench and now its firmware is 1.8.0. We're done. Click the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and check the links in the description to show my gear stuff and things, my gear. And make sure you click the link to Epidemic Sound if you want one month of awesome music and great sound effects for free. But I tell you, there is another way to do it through your phone, where you will need just your camera with a fully charged battery, an SD card, and just your smartphone, but I wasn't able to show it to you with this new firmware update because even though the update was available on the website, on the phone and the app, apparently not. Because when I opened Camera Connect, the Canon official app, and I clicked on firmware update, it would just say that my firmware is up to date, even though it wasn't. So at the time I'm making this video, the update was not available in the app. But I'm gonna show you anyway how I did it with the firmware 1.7.0. So I just picked up my phone, opened the app, click on settings, the three bar things there, three or four bars, <laughs> and clicked on firmware update. And there appear the firmware updates for my cameras like the R7 and the R6, but we're seeing the R6 right now. And when I click there, it showed me the available update. At that time I had installed the 1.6.0 and I was able to click there on download the 1.7.0. And when I clicked to agree to the terms and conditions, it started to download. Then I was prompt to connect my camera, which I did. I had already put 
a fresh battery in the camera and an SD card which I formatted in advance and the camera was set to P priority. So when I turned it on, it connected directly to my smartphone and this is what appeared in the screen of the camera. The touch screen wouldn't work, so with back wheel I was able to move it to OK and then press OK with a button in the center of the wheel. It took a while, of course, as usual. When it ended, again, I had to accept, click on OK with the central button of the wheel. The camera restarted, I turned it off and back on and the firmware was updated. This is just for your information. You don't need to update it to the 1.7.0 and then to the 1.8.0. Whatever firmware version your camera is at, you can just skip them all and update it to the latest one. All right, well, I guess I don't have anything else to say. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this and if you did, click the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I guess I'll see you in my next video. Oh yeah.